Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. This time we are playing the Quicksilver Aggression deck that we built for Chaos Magic and we are playing against Red Skull on Expert difficulty and with the added uh, Mess of All Things and Expert Modular sets. Uh, in the deck building video I made a little mistake when I was talking about the uh, Red Skull deck uh, or the Encounter deck. So the Encounter deck has two modular sets, uh, the Hydra Assault and the Hydra Patrol. So uh, I forgot to mention that that uh, Encounter deck also includes one of those. So I have the Hydra Assault Encounter set in that deck and the mess of things uh, substituted for the Hydra Patrol. So we have those two and of course the Expert modular set there. Uh, along with the standard one. Then, uh, when I was building the deck, uh, the deck actually was a She-Hulk deck, but it doesn't matter because I'm just substituting the She-Hulk uh, signature cards or hero cards for Quicksilver's hero cards, and otherwise I am using those uh, aggression and basic cards that came in the deck. So let's just quickly see the deck list. So, as you can see, there are a lot of allies, uh, which <laughs> will be key to surviving even a few turns against the Red Skull and his minions. Uh, then there are some good synergies in the deck. There is Death Focus, which is really good with uh, Quicksilver, as Quicksilver has so many superpowers that can utilize the Death Focus uh, resource. Then uh, combat training is of course really good for Quicksilver aggression and God Slayer seems to be really efficient and of course the hand cannons seem to be good as well. Uh, other than that the deck is basically a bunch of one-offs of a, different, uh, a lot of different uh, events and uh, upgrades so I have a little <laughs> I have really low expectations on beating Red Skull on Expert with this deck, but we do our best and this whole series is just to challenge me, make the deck uh, playing uh, interesting, having random decks against random villains will just be a novelty for me and I, I'm enjoying these even if I get uh, beaten down. In, in every video, but I think this series will turn out to be can I <laughs> win a game with these random decks, but uh, let's see how this matchup goes, so let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start, so um, the setup is done. Uh, we have the uh, side scheme deck in play, we have already put the red house in play, so we need to get rid of the red house first, because it prevents us from damaging red skull. Also, uh, red skull gets plus one attack for each side scheme in play, so we need to try to keep those side schemes out of play as much as possible. And we have, because we are playing the expert version, uh, when revealed uh, we deal each player an encounter card, so we already have one encounter card for the first turn. The decks are reshuffled, so I'll draw my opening hand. So six cards. Uh, we get Angela, double time, combat training, always be running, Yarnborn and the power of aggression. So um, I actually am liking this hand because we can play Angela. We'll get them um, uh, ten cards and possibly one minion, which Angela and Quicksilver can eat pretty easy, easily. Uh, we can play combat training, and also we have double time, so I could just remove the red house with that, with this. I think I'm keeping the whole hand, because we are getting an upgrade and an ally, and uh, I, I could uh, see if I get a double resource, so I'm using uh, Pietro Maximov's ability to discard two cards from hand. I'm discarding Yarnborn and uh, Always Be Running. We aren't that uh, set up yet, so Always Be Running isn't that powerful yet. So 
let's draw two more cards. Uh, we get Cyclone and Nick Fury. Well, I think we are keeping to our original plan of playing the double time. So I'm flipping to hero mode and uh, we'll just play using the power of aggression, the combat training. Then we'll play Angela. So Angela is an hero card and comes in the, uh, was it uh, Gamora set, if I recall correctly. A force response after Angela enters play under your control, search the top 10 cards of the encounter deck for a minion and put it into play engage with you. Shuffle the encounter deck. If your minion was not put into play this way, discard Angela. Actually, mm, I will hold on from going into hero mode because there are quick strike enemies in there, so we might not want to put one of those in play. So let's search the top 10 cards. And uh, <laughs> uh, we get the Hydra Exo Soldier, which is a quite tough enemy. So we need, might need to do some some alterations to our plan. So no other choices. So we have to pick the Hydra Exo Soldier. It has tough, so that is annoying. Okay, and we shuffle the course we uh, search back into the encounter deck so uh, Hydra Exo Soldier and we have Angela and uh, now we can flip so uh, we can hit twice with Quicksilver uh, one of those attacks could be to remove uh, stun then ready hit again hit with Angela and uh, we can remove the red house next turn, so I'll play double time. So I'm actually just to make my life easier. When I ever I get a plus to my stat, I'll mark it the token. So double time, uh, we are removing the tough, and we are removing two threat from here. Then Quicksilver will hit for two, ready hit for two, and Angela will hit for two. So this Hydra Exo Soldier is defeated. And that is our whole turn. Uh, we ready up. We draw back up to five. We get Hulk, Sentry, always be running Genius and Espionage. So. Uh, espionage is quite useless unless I have Nick Fury or Mockingbird in play because I can't play because I have <laughs> control a spy character. Well, uh, that is the random building, but Sentry uh, seems quite like a good one. But I think we are trying to get Hulk into play next turn. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add a threat to the main scheme. Uh, we trigger the uh, forced response here. So after the step one, we uh, reveal one. Uh, card and of course it's the sleeper awakened so unfortunately we get the sleeper into play and that is a really bothersome enemy I, I think we need to try and defeat that guy somehow next turn mm, then red skull attacks I will defend with quicksilver so red skull hits for one plus two so three and I am defending so I'll only take two then I can ready and the sleeper hits for three. I'll just uh, opt to take it because um, we want to have Angela in play next turn. And then we get the encounter card. So we already have one. So we get two. Hydra Flame Soldier just comes into play and Court of Guard discard an upgrade or support you control. Unfortunately, that means combat training is gone. And that is it. So. That was the first turn, uh, let's see what we can do on the next hero phase. So we have some choices here. I think for this turn we are... Oh yeah, um, I need to back up a bit because I forgot uh, Red Skull's uh, ability. Because there were two uh, sets in play, we actually took two more damage. 
which is pretty awful. So Red Skull uh, hit for 3 plus 2, so 5 and he took 4. And uh, that is it. Um, I'm just thinking how I'm dealing with the sleeper. I think we have to ignore the Hydra Flame Soldier for now. Uh, we probably have to just uh, ward this away. Ready. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's so bothersome. So, um, I will hit the tough away. I'll take one retaliate from this. Uh, this has also guard and uh, retaliate, which I forgot to mention. And uh, uh, we are uh, going to alter ego. Hulk, hoping uh, we hit uh, something else than uh, I think that that would be suicide actually. Yeah, uh, let's not play Hulk. I'm using Genius Hulk and Espionage to play Sentry, so we deal one counterpart to us, and uh, I'm hitting. A sleeper with uh, Sentry and Angela. So the An Angela hit already kills this, so this gets removed and the sleeper gets removed from the game. So we will not be seeing those again, and uh, we only take Retaliate on Sentry, and we'll keep the always be running in hand. And that is our uh, player turn. We ready up. We'll draw back up to six. And just uh, watching. So uh, the first card would have been sever several industries. So Hulk would have just uh, left after the hit. So we wouldn't have died, but still better play smart and not take any chances. And uh, that is the hero phase. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we are a threat to the main scheme. We put a uh, side scheme into play, and it's mass chaos so we discard five cards and we have uh, one two two different uh, resource types so we only put two here this is really really good and then red skull with real scheme uh, for uh, three plus zero if this card is re uh, resolved during an unfended attack these cards support the control well we only add three and then this guy adds one, so four. Uh, we are one away from advancing. No, two away from advancing. So then we get the encounter cards, and of course there are the advances and some other cards that might scheme. And we get another Hydra Flame Soldier. Really need to start dealing with those and uh, master strategies that uh, that's to Red Skull. Force interrupt when Red Skull activates, give him an additional boost card for each side scheme in play. Then discard this card, max once per activation. So we put that into play. So pretty mild uh, villain phase. So let's go to the next hero phase. Uh, the your thing is to heal this turn because we are down to one health, so we are healing. Mm. Uh, we could play several industries, but we have another. Uh, we could use drop kick actually to defeat one of those. And activate the draw card ability here. We also have maximum velocity, uh, but we, uh, we have accelerated reflexes, uh, which we would have wanted to get into play. So um, I'm discarding these two to draw two with the uh, draws ability. So reinforces uh, sinew and uh, always be running. 
really need some upgrades into play. I think the defense one could be useful. Um, we are doing okay with the threat. So, um, do we want Iron Heart? I think because we can't utilize maximum velocity that well, I'm using Iron Hand and actually we get the card back. So, I'm using maximum velocity and reinforced sinew to play Iron Heart. We'll draw one card. I'll use always be running and brute force to play accelerate the reflexes. We'll keep the one always be running in hand and we'll flip. Then, uh, Sentry and Iron Heart will defeat one of these. Uh, we can't ready actually because we healed. And I think that is our turn and uh, uh, Angela will probably run under the boss here. Because uh, she can't defeat this guy and we are taking a bunch of uh, extra encounter cards for the activation for a boost card. So we'll hurry up, uh, we'll draw back up to 5. We get double hand cannon, hyper perception, death focus, finally always be running. And that is our turn. I will go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Red Skull attacks, Angela will defend. Actually, let's uh, defend with Iron Heart because Angela could actually hit you next turn. So, uh, before that, we put one side scheme into play, and it is the, a mess of all things. And our stun, so we don't add any extra. That is good. And uh, yeah, so uh, we have. Two extra here, so three plus one boost card, two boost card, three boost cards, and uh, Iron Heart is depending. Exhaust the character you control. Well, it is Angela. And plus two, plus one, so uh, I think six in total. So Iron Heart is defeated. Then this guy attacks. I will just defend. Uh, it hits for one. After Hydra Flame, Soldier makes an undefended attack, so we defend against it, so nothing happens, so just ready. And uh, that is the attack phase. This. Uh, we'll get an encounter card, plus one from the mess of things. And of course, this got uh, discarded. So, gang up. Oh no. I'm just defending against the Hydra Flame Soldier. And uh, uh, Red Skull hits for 1, 2, 3, plus a boost card. So, uh, do I want to defend with Quicksilver? I want to do that. We'll, we have the red. I'll defend with Quicksilver. No. I'll uh, defend with Sentry. So, 3 plus 3. <laughs> lucky thing. So, uh, 6 damage. So, Sentry is unfortunately defeated. And uh, uh, this guy hits. I will just take it. Uh, defend it so we don't have to discard anything. So, they, we don't actually take damage. We have a defense of two. And uh, then we get master plan. That sucks. So these both get uh, four threats on them. And now they are really annoying to remove. That is a shame because we were just about ready to remove them next turn. Okay, uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. We will play Death Focus uh, using one hand cannon. 
I'll use Death Focus to play Always Be Running, Ready Quicksilver. And uh, we are stuck with these cards. So that is a shame. Nothing really we can do here. So I'm just going to let this advance. I, I have to go heal. So I'm just flipping and I'm discarding these two to draw through. And we didn't get anything useful and I'm healing. So we are healing for three. Okay, and that is our turn unfortunately. We'll ready up. Draw back up to six. And we have friction resistance, you'll pay for that. Uh, power of aggression, always be running mocking bird and maximum velocity. So next turn at least we can do a lot of thwarting with the maximum velocity, but we need to survive to that that turn. Okay, and uh, actually, uh, before we, uh, yeah, we can't remove threat from here because of this mass chaos. I was thinking if I, uh, actually, yeah, uh, back up, but I'll just remove one, uh, one from here, then ready, and then flip and heal, and, uh, yeah, because that we can do. But we can't remove one from the Rise of Red Skull because uh, we have that uh, as chaos in play. So that was the hero phase. Let's go to the villain phase. So this advances. Reveal the top card of the side scheme deck. And we get uh, Sensor of the Past. Then. Uh, uh, we put one extra in play, uh, Hydra Reinforcements, let's just put it here because I'm running out of space for those. Let's add the threads there. Yeah, I, <laughs> I highly think we are uh, losing this battle horribly, as I predicted, but still we are doing way better than I thought. We are. Uh, holding on for dear life here. So this actually comes into play with two per player and this is three per player. So this should be right. Okay, and um, Red Skull will scheme for three plus three, so six. Ouch. And um, this guy will scheme for one. So we are already at eight of eleven. So this uh, won't take it much longer because we can't do anything for that before we remove this. Uh, we get two encounter car, uh, three encounter cars because this came into play. There is also an acceleration token now here. And uh, let's take our encounter car. So twisted reality inside attached to a side scheme. When at that side scheme is defeated, deal the first player an encounter car. So just put it on this one. A spreading noise when we will place two threats on each scheme in play. <laughs> oh no, and we're one away from losing. So two here, two here, two here. Change this to a five, two here. So we are not getting rid of any of this. And last card, okay, so we lost. So spreading lies again, so we had two here, and that is game. So, yeah, uh, pretty much couldn't have done anything better, in my opinion, with this uh, deck. And uh, Red Skull is really hard on expert difficulty if your deck is not tuned to it. Uh, you would need to have a ton of uh, threat removal to keep those side schemes in out of play and uh, we unfortunately hit the sleeper right away which slows us down quite a bit because we have to defeat that that one and uh, 
yeah, still uh, <laughs> a fun try, uh, nonetheless. Uh, let's see what we could have done next turn, because um, we had some good cards in hand, so we could have played the friction resistance using... Uh, we'll pay for that, this one, and... Mockingbird. Then uh, we could have played maximum velocity, a flip. Play it in hero mode, then we would have the warded for uh, three. Ready, this ready is warded for three, and play always be running and warded for three. So we could have uh, removed this one and some threat from here, and that is basically all we could have done. So not that good, so we would have probably lost in the long run. But still, a fun try. Uh, I got demolished with Quicksilver, but still, um, I highly recommend you try out these uh, random generated heroes and villains and uh, uh, possibly play by build deck building the deck, not using the uh, website as uh, you want to po possibly hide to, uh, fine tune your deck to be able to defeat the villain. For example, this expert, I, I should have just lowered it to standard to have at least a shot to defeating Red Skull, but still, it is what it is. And uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.